New research has emerged suggesting that popular weight loss drugs like Wagovi may play a role in curbing more than a patient's appetite. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook, explains. Stylist Madison Van Komen enjoys surprising her clients with new nail designs. I've always been creative. I've always loved to draw and paint um, and create. But Van Komen says she surprised herself at how easy it was to quit vaping after she started medication called semaglutide to lose weight last October. When the nicotine craving started to go away, were you surprised? Yeah, I was addicted to nicotine for 13 years. Semaglutide is part of a group of drugs called GLP-1 agonists that work by curbing appetite centers in the brain. Animal studies suggest these drugs may also affect the brain to reduce addiction to nicotine, alcohol, and opioids, leading to trials in humans. These drugs are working to reduce craving of food. But it was discovered sort of, I guess, was it accidentally that it also decreased craving for other things? Yeah, so uh, it is pretty complicated, and we're still learning about it. Dr. Michael Weintraub, my colleague at NYU Langone Health, prescribes GLP-1 agonists for type 2 diabetes and obesity. A recent study found patients with type 2 diabetes and tobacco use disorder who used semaglutide, the drug found in Ozempic and Wegovy, had a reduced desire to smoke. The authors cautioned more research is needed. There are effective medications for alcohol use disorder, smoking cessation, so we should use those uh, first before we utilize medications that would be considered off-label. We know it's helpful for type 2 diabetes. We know it's helpful for obesity. However, these other uses, where are we right now? Uh, the jury's still out. In less than a year, Van Komen has lost 23 pounds and says she's grateful for the unexpected bonus of a nicotine-free life. I pay more attention to things. I'm just more, I'm more present in my life. It's important to emphasize these drugs have only been FDA approved for people with type 2 diabetes or weight-related health conditions. It's intriguing that they may have other uses, but there can be serious side effects. And the maker of Ozempic and Wegovy told CBS News it only supports FDA-approved uses for appropriate patients. Major? Dr. John LaPoo, thank you so much.